Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Back one more time. And we're calling it a night. Hopefully. <laughs> Listen, I want to talk to you about setting your affections on things above. When you focus on the things, on the high things of life, when you focus on the important things, the things that matter to God, the or things of virtue, things of integrity, things of love, peace, joy, um, uh, uh, how can I say, righteousness, holiness, things that benefit others, not only yourself. When you go through anything, you are still more apt to stay on task. When you get caught up in everything that's going on around you and you see how they looked at you and what they said about you and, and what he thinks about you and, 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 and what she's gossiping around about you and you get caught up in it and you start wanting to defend yourself, well, no, that's not true. And, you know, well, what are you doing? Well, why would you do something like that? Well, why are you looking at me? Why did you say that? And you get all caught up. Well, what ends up happening is the thing that you were doing gets fumbled. You end up fumbling the ball, dropping the ball. You may even forfeit the game. You must, when I said before, you must stay focused. When you are focused, you don't have time to listen. If you ever watch uh, Minnesota Fats and... Um, and Willie Moscone, shoot pool. You know how Minnesota Fats gets to a lot of people? That mouth. Steadily running that mouth. You know why he does that? Because, now if you don't know who they are, they're, they're professional pool sh uh, billiard. Yeah, professional billiard players. I love billiards. I love shooting pool. So, um... But these guys are great, or were great. And the way that Minnesota Fats would compete, he would do a head job on his opponent. And he would talk smack and boastful and, 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 and braggadocious. I mean, he would just, and he would, he, he would talk so much. And half of the reason was to throw the opponent off, to make them lose their focus. Because once you start paying attention to what your opponent is saying, you have removed your attention and your focus from what you're doing. Your thought processes are not as clear. That's what the devil does. That's part of his tactic. He is to throw you off base, off balance when you're going through a trial, when you're going through pressure, when life comes up against you and socks you in the, in, in, in the nose and, 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 and rips the carpet out from under you and you're wondering, well, oh, what's going on? And you're about to hit the panic button. Well, what Peter did in the New Testament, when Jesus walked up to the boat and he said, it is I. And Jesus said, if it is you, bid me come. And Jesus said, come. Now, God is not going to call you and tell you to do something he can't equip you to do. He's not going to tell you to do something he cannot empower you to do. And he's not going to let you go through a trial he can't carry you through. So when Peter got out of the boat, he's walking on water like Jesus. None of the other disciples experienced that but Peter. But what did Peter do? He started losing his focus. He took his eyes off of Jesus and started looking at the tempestuous waves and the rolling thunder, and the whipping of the water, and oh, and he hit the panic button, oh. Well, as soon as he took his eyes off of Jesus, his focus off of Jesus, 
and his power to sustain him safely, what happened? He began to sink. Think about that. He began to sink. When you are focused on the problem, you get angry, you get frustrated, you become loaded with fear, you're overwhelmed, your blood pressure goes up, you don't know how to handle it, and you are ready to oh, hit the panic button. Am I right? But what you forget is that you have just taken your eyes off the one and only who can carry you through this thing, totally unscathed. But if you get your eyes back on him, hurry up before it's too late. Get your eyes back on Jesus. Don't listen to Minnesota fats talking in your ear. Don't listen to Willie Moscone trying to trip you up. Don't listen to the devil telling you what you can't do. Don't listen to what people are saying about you behind your back. Don't worry about what she meant when she said that snide remark. Don't worry about what they meant when they were looking at you funny when you walked in the room. Stop tripping and get your head back in God. Think about this now. If you want to get through this thing, you have to focus on God. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Not on the problem, not on you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Now, mother has spoken. 